Hello friends, today I'm bringing you a video about three things I think you need to know about driving in Australia. Um, the three things that I think you need to know about driving in order to avoid car crashes. I've been in three major car crashes and I'm um, uh, very grateful that uh, in none of them I wasn't um, uh, injured really seriously but I also have loved ones and friends who've been in car crashes that have been serious and they've had serious injuries that took a long time to heal and uh, look it happens people on the road um, they drive like maniacs we all do it we all have you know moments when we're distracted or whatever the fact is that driving is dangerous and um, I don't say that to scare you I just say that because I think that you need to go into driving with the mentality that you want to be prepared and drive safely so the three things I think you need to know are first to uh, expect the unexpected so there's two ways that I think you can do this first is to look not just at the car directly in front of you but also the car two cars down um, and that way when people up ahead are braking even if the person in front of you doesn't notice and they slam on the brakes you're already braking because you've seen them coming you can see that the cars up ahead are slowing down you start slowing down so it doesn't matter what the person ahead is doing if they're an idiot that's fine you've got time um, so that's one thing. The other thing is that when you're coming up to intersections, always slow down. Even if you've got a green, I recommend that you slow down a little bit because you never know when some idiot is going to run a red light and smash into you. Um, it happens. It really does. Uh, yeah, any, any type of intersection. One of the car crashes that I was in, we were going in a straight line. Someone turned right straight into us. So yeah. Um, slowing down is helpful. Uh, yeah, the second thing that I think you need to know about driving in Australia is that your speedometer is not necessarily accurate and you might be speeding without realizing it. So you can avoid a speeding fine um, by making sure you do the speed limit or less. Um, now the reason I say this is because manufacturers for cars that are sold in Australia are allowed to have a five kilometer uh, leeway either way in terms of speed. So you could be looking at your car thinking, oh, I'm only doing 62, but actually you're doing 67. And uh, the fines go up in amount the more that you're speeding over the limit. So play it safe. Um, it's, it, it's worth it to your, to your pocketbook and to the safety of everyone around you. Uh, the third thing that I think you need to know about driving in Australia is that electric cars are awesome. Uh, we just bought one and super excited to be saving money and saving the environment. Woo! Um, saving money because not paying for fuel, not paying way less for maintenance of the car because there's not a mechanical engine running the thing. Uh, a fuel engine, sorry. It is mechanical, it's a car. It's an electric car. Now I'm going to get confused. Anyway, what I'm trying to say... Oh! Cheaper rego um, and cheaper insurance. So saving about $1,200 a year by owning this car rather than my old car, which is dying. Um, yeah, saving the environment. One of people's main concerns with electric cars is the range. Like if I drive to work and then go get groceries, am I going to run out of battery on the way home? Uh, probably not. The, In fact, definitely not. Um, the BITRE, which is a government department, has done studies that show that the average people commute to and from work is 15 k's either way. So, um, yeah, and electric cars have a range of 100 k's upwards. Uh, we bought an eight-year-old car and it still has a range of, I think Tim told me, 80 kilometers. So you would easily get to do anything. All the errands that I do running around the city, um, yeah, 80 k's more than covers it. Um, and uh, for longer trips, you've got public charging stations. So uh, yeah, Australia, unless you're doing a massive trip to very remote areas, um, electric cars should serve you well. Um, and they're successful in Tasmania and New Zealand. Electric cars have really taken off. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing that become a reality all over Australia. So yeah, that's the three things I think you need to know about driving in Australia. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.